Hi everyone, it's Donna from Little Spaceman Papercraft. Today I'm going to um, do a tutorial for you that has been requested by one of my um, subscribers, Pamela Reeves. Um, when I put my video on about the um, Evercraft of Pound haul video, I asked for someone to choose my next tutorial and my friend Gareth chose the caddy and uh, Pamela asked for the heart so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm also going to talk to you about some um, sorry, <laughs> some um, up and coming videos. One that I'm going to be doing is um, showing you how to print onto candles. I think these are going to make lovely lovely gifts. I've done these ones for my, um, my front room. Uh, I've done a pair of those. Um, I also did these. I love these. I did a set of six of these for myself. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to go in my bedroom or my craft room. I think my husband thinks they're a little bit girly for the bedroom, but we'll see. Um, so I did a set of those. Let me get the rest out to show you. That's that one. That one. And these last two. And these ones were done... Um, using my in inkjet printer and printing um, the image out onto tissue paper and these ones were done actually stamping onto the tissue paper um, and popping them on the candle so that's going to be coming up very soon um, so oh my goodness sorry I've just knocked that tripod I have to stop doing that all my videos are really shaky out of the way. Okay, um, so we're going to do the tutorial today. Um, it's basically just covering a chipboard heart. Now, I got these really, really cheaply from Every Crafts Pound. I think I got you get a set of four. You get two large ones and two small ones um, for a pound. So I thought these were brilliant. You can also get wooden ones. Obviously, I think Fernley Designs do some really nice wooden ones. Um, and you can cover them in whatever you want. You can paint them. Um, I'm using this really cute like vintage paper to cover mine. Um, you can paint the back if you want. I'm not going to do that for um, the video purpose today. I'm just going to show you how to cover the front and decorate the front like I did on my previous one. So, all you need to do really is draw around the heart on the back of your um, whatever chosen paper you use you've decided to use um, and then glue it on I'm going to just pop some glue on this glue is brilliant by the way um, I know Gareth has it in his store I think it's available for pre-order I'm not sure if he's got any in sometimes he has some in stock um, but I would not be without this glue brilliant stuff ok so we need to stick this down. And the best thing to do is look at it from the back, really, and you can um, line it up much better and make sure that it fits nicely. And then what you need to do is get your craft knife and just cut off the excess it's hard to get in there with scissors. If you've got really tiny scissors that you can get in there with, that's brilliant. Um, I don't. So I'm just going to use my craft knife. Actually, I need to change the blade on this one. Let me get another one. That's better. And then just trim all the way around. It doesn't matter how you do it if you've got jagged edges because we're going to file them all down anyway and make them blend into the chipboard. The only reason we're filing it off is because you don't really want to, um, sorry, cutting it off is because you really don't want to be filing forever and a day to, um, to get the excess off. Just this bit now. And 
Did anybody else watch the uh, the lunar eclipse? My son, who is space mad, hence my name, little space man. He um, made me set my alarm. Three, <laughs> quarter to three in the morning. So we were all stood in my back garden. Luckily, we could see it from our back garden. We didn't have to go patrolling the streets at three o'clock in the morning. Um, so he could have a look at it. Amazed he was. So we took some photographs and he went into school the next day telling everybody. So I'm glad he was happy anyway. I was absolutely exhausted. But uh, <laughs> as long as he was happy, that's the main thing. Right, okay. So, that's that. So you need to get your file. Um, this is quite a coarse file. Um, and just basically smooth and round the edges. Once you trim off the excess, it makes life so much easier. Okay, so there is your heart shape all done. And again, as I say, you could um, paint the back if you want to. Excuse me. You could also um, ink up the edges if you wanted to do that as well. Um, I'm just going to stamp on this now. Um, I've got this really large, really large flower stamp, and I've got a sentiment as well. So I'm just going to um, ink those up. I've got brown ink. Just make sure that's. I'll have one coming in this way. another one coming in from the bottom I think. Actually what I might do is um, stamp off. Let me just get a bit of scrap. Actually just use the back of this. Stamp off once and do a bit of a lighter one and then maybe do another full one coming in from this side. And then we will get our little sentiment. Ink that up. And I think that down there. I've actually inked it upside down. But you get the idea. And then if you ink up the edges, it'll look really pretty. If you wanted to hang it, what you would do is, um, you could, this way you can see where the hole is. If you just push, um, if you've got like a, oh, I don't know, a, hole, a pokey tool I call this. <laughs> it's um, something like that. And if you just gently tease that in what you'll do is you'll push the paper in and it will almost line the hole for you so then you could use um, some nice ribbon or nice string to hang that up and I'm so actually annoyed that I stamp that upside down but what I can do is recover it and start again and um, do another one which is actually what I think I might do to show you the final pictures at the end so um, thank you so much for watching my video and again thank you to Pamela Reeves for um, requesting this um, it really means a lot that I have subscribers um, it's sort of it's been a difficult time um, to get crafting and I've always loved to craft and um, 
it's it's lovely to have subscribers it just gives me a bit of a confidence boost so please feel free to subscribe give me a thumbs up i'll pop the link to my facebook page in the down bar and um, if you want to leave me a comment that would be great so thank you again so so much for watching you'll also find me on facebook i think did i just say that Anyway, you'll find me on Facebook, I'll pop the link down there. I'll also pop the link in to Gareth's store, so you can get that as well. Um, so yeah, thank you so much again for watching, and I'll um, go now and try and rectify this for the photos. <laughs> Thanks again, bye!